I was diagnosed in November of 2017 with ALS after experiencing symptoms that I just kind of related to being a person who had a very physically demanding job. I try to start every day positive and, and think good thoughts, but some mornings I wake up and my hands just don't want to work and even just um, brushing my teeth is a, is a chore and, and those are difficult because I've always been a physically strong guy. Hard days for me are when I try to figure out how this is going to work. You know, how um, we're still in that five month waiting period for Social Security, so without our big village of people that we've had come beside us, the rent wouldn't be paid, you know, the electricity wouldn't be paid, all these things. And when I try to figure out how I'm going to make that work, you know, for however many years we've got, <laughs> that's, that's just hard for me. And then not to show him that I'm stressed about the small details of life that need to happen because that's the world we live in. But how do I make that happen? I'm as scared for her as I know she is for me because uh, my path is written. You know, we know what the outcome of ALS is. She's the one that's going to have to be strong and, and pick up the pieces and, and help me the best she can while keeping everything together within the family unit and, you know, and eventually picking up the pieces and continuing on without me. I think a good days are <laughs> good days are when we're at a ball game. We yeah. go, we love going to ball games. We love going to concerts. We That's love us. going to beer fest. We love going to just places where there's energy. Just even walking around the waterfront in Portland, Maine. Um, just being out and living life. We love that stuff. I'm okay with a diagnosis of ALS. I know there's going to be awful times ahead. But while I'm able to be independent, while my legs are still strong, I still have a voice, it's just um, I'm here to, to do good for this and, and to try to help those that don't have that support or just don't even know how to go about trying to voice their concerns and things.